Jenkins interview preparation part 4. What are some of the critical aspects of Jenkins pipeline? Some of the aspects is pipeline, it is a user defined model of CD pipeline. So pipeline scope takes the role of defining the entire build process, including building, testing, delivering an application. A node, it is a machine that uh, it is a part of Jenkins environment, which is capable of executing a pipeline. Step, it is an individual task that communicates to Jenkins about what to do at a particular point in time. Stage, this defines a distinct subset of tasks that are conceptually unique and performed through the pipeline. Build, test, deploy stages. So let's say there is a broken build in the Jenkins project. Then what can be done? Initially, you will have to open the console output where the broken builds are created and then figure out if there is any file changes that were missed. In case there are no issues found there, then you will need to update your local workspace, replicate the problem and then try to solve it. How to deploy a custom build of a core plugin? The steps to deploy a custom build of a core plugin are First, copy the .hpii file to Jenkins Home plugins, then remove then remove the plugin's development directory, then create an empty file called plugin hpi bind. Finally, restart Jenkins and use your custom build of a core plugin. What is the process of making multi-branch pipeline in Jenkins? To create multi-branch pipeline in Jenkins, follow these steps. Open Jenkins dashboard and create a new item by clicking on new item. Enter the project name and from the option select multi-branch pipeline, then click OK, then select the repository location, branch source, github, get the bucket, and add the branch source credential. Then save the project, then now Jenkins will automatically create a new multi-branch pipeline and repositories. Then to connect to the github repo, we need to the hook URL. To get this URL from the repository settings, add this hook URL to the webhooks section. Okay, now you don't need to memorize this step, but at least you need to know how to do it. How can the parameters be defined in Jenkins? So, to do that, first, to define a parameter for the job select that this project is parameterized, the drop down add the parameter, then is enabled with the parameter types list, any number of parameter may be added to the list. There are several parameter types provided in the list. Explain the ways to configure Jenkins node agent to communicate with Jenkins master. So there are two ways to do that. Browser, if we launch the Jenkins node agent from a browser, a Java web start or GNLB file is downloaded. The downloaded file launch a new process on the client machine to run jobs. Or command line, if you want to start the node agent using the command line, you need the executable agent.jar file. When this file runs, it launches a client process to communicate with the Jenkins master to run the built jobs. What is the use of Jenkins home directory? Jenkins home directory is a place where all settings, logs, and configuration are stored. It stores all the information in XML. So the directory contains a subdirectory for every Jenkins built job being operated. Every directory has two subdirectory builds and workspace and some other files as well. So these subdirectories are important as the workspace directory is located at the place where Jenkins is building the project and it contains the source code. The built directory stores the history of all build performed for this job. Explains a backup plugin and its uses. It includes job config plugins, logs, plugin configuration, etc. Jenkins provides a backup plugin which can be used to get critical backup configuration. So this is most important when there is a failure, it prevents loss of any settings. What do you understand by trigger concerning pipeline? A trigger is something that defines when and how the pipeline should be executed. There may be several triggers like a pull request trigger that is used to deploy a pull request or there may be a stage trigger that is used in configuring how each stage in the release will be triggered. What are the three security mechanisms Jenkins used to authenticate users? Jenkins use an internal database to store user data and credentials. Jenkins can use a lightweight directory access protocol, LDAP, server to authenticate users. 
we can configure Jenkins to employ the application service authentication mechanism upon which we deploy it. Thanks for watching.